Hi, I'm Kira and I play B in Yoga for the Feet. Hi, I'm Iona and I play Annie. We'll introduce ourselves in character at the end of this introduction. Yoga for the Feet is a piece of digital theatre. It is written by Tilly Lunken and directed by Stephen Bailey. Full credits listed below and at the end of the video. It includes integrated audio description and is captioned. It's about B, a woman embarking on a long walk across Spain, the Camino de Santiago. Through the walk and connecting with Annie, a YouTube yogi, B starts to redefine her relationship with her body, starting with her feet. There are no severe content warnings for this piece, though it contains mild themes of mental health and adult language. The whole piece is filmed during the day using natural light. It is fully captioned and is scored by Nicola T. Chang. The play occurs in two spaces. The first is Annie's yoga studio. This space is big and bright, lit from the left with a full wall of windows providing natural light. The wooden floor is maple and the back wall is painted white. On the right wall are three large mirrors. It is a professional space, calm and precise. A fancy fake bamboo plant is centred on the back wall. In the left corner by the window, there is a charcoal grey metal ladder built into the wall. Three rolled up yoga mats balance this on the right. A charcoal grey yoga mat and a green yoga mat are positioned end to end in the centre of the space. Annie's studio is shot in both wider shots and close frames, focusing on movement but there is always a sense of wider studio. The second space is Bee's bedroom. Bee's bedroom is small, a bit messy, and has a blue feature wall covered with postcards, mementos, a pin board, and a Vincent van Gogh wall calendar. The bed is raised and is folded up to make room for Bee doing her yoga on her old purple yoga mat. It is filmed in natural light from a large window stroke door that opens out into a little balcony. At the end of the piece, B opens this and steps outside. When we first view Annie, it is through her YouTube channel and this is shown through the YouTube website framing her video. This is intercut with B watching in her room. As B begins with watching Annie through her phone, the conventions of play, pause, rewind, skip are used. This is indicated in text and captions, on screen by a symbol and with a sound. Play. Pause. Skip. Fast forward is indicated by B saying skip, skip, skip. Then, in B's imagination, she joins Annie in her yoga studio. The shift is signalled with this, a fade into white and this transition noise. There is also a transition in time, indicated by fading into white, and this sound. We return into two separate spaces with another fade to white with this transition. Throughout, we will be performing a yoga flow, which was developed by Safiya Dura. This means that we are often moving and holding yoga positions and stretches. Not all the poses are described in detail as the specifics are less important than the flow. For some sequences, the camera follows the movement, with the majority of the piece shot handheld in long takes. This reflects the style and the flow of the movement. In the more involved yoga sections, the dialogue is inserted as a voiceover. The captions for the voiceovers are in italics and these sections are underscored. Annie moves with precision and ease, with presentation. We mirror each other in our poses as would a teacher leading a class. B moves initially with resistance. She is wobbly and out of sync as she follows Annie's lead. But by the end, 
she moves with more ease. Thank you for listening. This audio introduction was written in consultation with Amelia Cavallo and Quiplash. Continue listening for character introductions. Hi there, I'm Annie from Yoga with Annie. It's been pointed out to me by members of my community that not everybody experiences my videos in the same way. So I am here to fill you in on what I look like and what to expect. Shout out to the lovely Amelia and Quiplash for the assist. This one's for my blind and visually impaired viewers. Everyone deserves to appreciate the wonders of this outfit. Think of it as a proper introduction to your teacher. Hi, I'm Annie. My pronouns are she, her. I am slim, petite, and a strong white woman with thick, dark hair. Half up, half down, and a fringe. I am wearing light plum leggings and a white cropped and fitted t-shirt. Hashtag outfit of the day, today and every day. No shoes. Today's video is about feet, so no socks either. Bare feet. Oh, I also have blue eyes and a big smile and great strong eyebrows, if I do say so myself. <laughs> hey, you know what? This has been really interesting and fun. My two favourite things. So you, watching, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself too? How might you describe who you are? This is my Yoga with Annie YouTube channel and there are lots of videos and lots of flows here. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Hi, it's B here. I've been told to try and describe myself, so here I am. Hello, I'm B. Pronouns she, her. Um, I'm blonde, white, not very fit. Straight size though, and I've managed to find some comfy grey joggers and this black t-shirt I have owned forever. It's basically pyjamas. But that's the point of doing yoga at home, right? You can wear whatever you want when you're going to make a fool of yourself. Oh, my hair is in two plaits to keep it off my face. And I don't care if it makes me look like a kid. What else? Uh, yeah, bare feet. My feet. Not pretty, but all mine. All mine complete with shellac nails in a fluoro coral. It's very subtle, just like me. Yoga mat centered, tripod aligned, phone camera focused and rolling. Here in my messy room. Plant to the right for natural texture. Rolled yoga mats to the left for balance. And then my charcoal yoga mat, bathed in bright, natural light. Don't have a nice mat. And then me, Annie. But I do have floor space. I do have a phone. Right in the middle of where I need to be. There you are. Welcome to Yoga with Annie. Today we meet in the spirit of connecting to ourselves and our bodies. Whatever your day has been like, whether you are tired from work or you just need to chill out, we're here for you. Come on B, you can do this. It's just an introductory YouTube video. It's just you in your tiny bedroom, just you and your internal monologue. Just you looking like you've never done yoga before. Just you looking at a tiny screen at a tiny perfect person who has clearly been doing tiny yoga every day of her life. This video is about what we walk around on all day and what carries us through. Our feet. Give them a wave. Wiggle those toes right back. And breathe. Yeah, yeah, get on with it. Welcome to Yoga with Annie. I mean, fuck and yoga, am I out. right? That's it. Look down at your feet. I'm looking, I'm looking. And thank them. Thank you, feet. 
We are going to thank them for all the work they have done for us today. Give them some love. Hello, feet. Hello there. Hi. In this flow, we will be working through some exercises to help you and your tired feet. Skip, skip, skip. And there we go. Now, from standing neutral, we are going to take our right foot and we are going to bring it up onto the ball and move it slowly round in a circle. Nice and slowly, round and round. Feel it loose in there and the other side. Left done. Now we're going to do the same but further up onto the toes. That's it. Let them roll around, loosen those ankles. Now don't sink into that other hip. How does she know my hip's sinking? Everyone does it. Just keep aware. Keep drawing your energy up through your center and <laughs> using your breath. I have no balance. And back to flat. Now we are going to lift up through our feet. Up onto the toes and hold. And breathe. How is this so hard? It's just standing on tiptoes. This is hopeless. It doesn't matter how long you hold it for. Just do what you can in this moment and hold it there. Oh, so tight. My calves are killing me. Loosen the I've got to stretch. Be basic calf stretch. You've got this. Calves. What? You know, if you watched the entire video, you would have done that basic calf stretch. Excuse me? Take a big step forwards, bend the front leg straight in the back. Optionally, raise your arms. So you're in my brain, or I'm in your yoga studio. I've got a real green yoga mat. You're welcome. I don't need this. I don't need this. I've got this. Get me out of here. Well, you are here. And now that you're here, there's a flow to a flow. Right. Why are there giant mirrors on the wall? And, and how have I imagined your yoga studio in this much detail? You know, if you point your toe in, you get the same stretch in a different run of muscles through the calf. And the foot. Is this part of your video? No, but it all works. How are you feeling about the world? Come back to your mat. So, what's the flow for not being able to listen to the news because it makes you both highly anxious about the future but also ragey at the absolute gall of the fuckers in power who are doing their absolute best to screw us all over for short-term political gain and profits? How about a lunch? Fine. Oh, this is good. Striding forth into a future of climate crisis. But you know, we'd better balance it out by giving the right side equal airtime. It opens out the front of your hips and we can continue opening through there if you rise to reach up with your left arm, extending out. Crescent lunge. Grasping for populist leadership. And the other side. Annoyingly stronger. And then reach across, reach wide, and twist back with prayer hands. Maybe send a little one up to your secular deity of choice. Oh, is this the mythical reaching for housing security? Hands to heart center, coming up to standing and returning into the lunge on the other side. In the interests of balance, always both sides it. We can stretch that truth out that bit further. Chasing a cushy boomer pension plan. Don't look at me, I'm self-employed. Me too. Back to standing on your own two feet then. Quads? Drawing up one leg into how can I balance living with work? Ah, uh, yes. Here you need real balance. And not from anywhere else. You need to draw from inside. Holding your ear helps. It does. See kids, listening does work. Swap into balancing work with living. Playing it by ear. Now, lean forwards into it. Standing bow. Deepen your precarious handle on everyday functionality. Back to standing, 
straighten and bend back into some light dodging commitment. It's warrior two. Bending front knee, extending the back leg. That's it. Bringing left up. Arms through the T position. Successfully dodged. Pivot and reach the other way into absolving responsibility. Oh, I've got to stop. Moving down into deflecting, doing anything productive. Just step back and watch the pro. And don't stop me. I'm enjoying just going with it and feeling what's right. And I got you nailed. Casual viewer who stops me two minutes into a 20 minute flow after skipping through general stretching. Sure, go ahead. Most popular. Come on, join me. On your knees, then curl up face down on the mat. Child pose. Not facing anything ever. I mean, I'd call that facing the matter of your own mortality, but I'm not a trained yoga teacher. I am trained, and I can totally get you on side. I'm listening. You want specific? I can be really specific. How about breathing your arms up into the rising panic of the 24-hour news cycle before dropping down into the flop of deleting Twitter? I'm not subscribing. You're not subscribing? No. That's a bummer. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm not super into this whole fitness ball workout shit or zen yoga. Maybe I should delete my account. I like that one. I might use that. It's a standing cat and standing cow. Arching forwards and back. But also, you know, I need to know. I need to know what's happening. I need to know what's happened and why it happened and what's going to happen next because of what's happening now. Might I recommend you try my yoga for living in the moment? You really do have a video for everything. Back to feet. Back to feet. So now we're going to move down and into a crouch. A bit like a frog. Oh, this is nice. It is a nice one. Move from side to side. Oh, I need to stretch. I'm just going to sit. Nice. Seated hamstring stretch. Can I adjust you? No touching, thanks. How are you even able to touch Just me? Just breathe. I'm breathing. Hey, I'll go sit over there, by the window. Why not use me how you want? Seeing as we seem to be here together. I don't get that many casual viewers now that I'm this established. I could just hang out in your brain or whatever. You seem on a mission. Very focused on those toes. Where are you going? For a walk. A walk? You're watching my yoga videos because you're going on a walk? It's a long walk. How long? Five weeks. Five weeks? How far is that? Around 790 kilometres. It's in Spain, from Saint Jean Pierre de Paul to Santiago Compostela. Across the Pyrenees, then through Spain. It's the St James's way. The Camino. They made a terrible film about it. I need to stop. Come and sit with me. So, a walk? Yeah, a walk with my mum. We're doing it together. You aren't asking me why. It's not my business. People always want to know why. I'm not people. It's a pilgrimage, see? People do it for all sorts of reasons. Come from all sorts of places to walk. Do you want me to ask? I'm not sure. Would it help you finish and watch my video so I get a full completed view if I ask? Deal. Okay, here goes. I feel I should at least be able to tell myself some reasons. Sure, sure. Why are you walking? Why are you walking 790 kilometres in pilgrimage for five weeks across the top of Spain, miss? I don't take yoga seriously or exercise, but seem to like stretching. I want... 
I want to redefine my relationship with my body. That's a big one. You know, you could just do that with yoga. <laughs> I'm not subscribing. I might use some of this though. Well, you know, kind of take you with me. Like you said, in my brain, bits of this, bits of that, all offline. Yoga for the unfit, agnostic, walking the Camino Santiago. You're making your own flow. Yeah. Because it's not about the yoga. It's about me, isn't it? Where are you going? You got there real quick. Job done. Matt rolling up time. What? I've only just... Don't you want to know what happened next? Well, you didn't leave a comment. You didn't subscribe. You didn't even like my video. Doesn't this count? Not really. I'm using it all. Not in an ideal way. But you care anyway, don't you? About you? You're hardly loyal to my channel. You totally care. In this context, about my feet? I suppose I do care. In this context, about your feet. Well, Annie, this is my very little, simple... I walked over 25k today and I cannot process that physically or mentally flow. Back to back? Yeah, when we mirror, it'll look great. Sitting and centering to start. Sitting and centering to start. And then this one. Tipping head left and right. And round and round for the neck and shoulders. Shouldering your overweight pack. Hands on left shoulder and roll left elbow round. Then extend out the arm. Load it up. Then twist back to check straps. Hi. Hi. The sign goes that way. Left arm up. The sign said that way. Yep. Same direction. I'm mirroring. Ah, oh, this one is good. You get to sit cross-legged and lift up your foot. I'll do it next to you. Then you've got to lace those fingers into the toes. That's it. Keep it cradled in your forearm. And then work those fingers all down the sole of your foot. Nice and easy. Need in. Ease it out. Need in, ease it out. Give your feet the love and attention they deserve. Smooth it in. So now you're back. I'm back. In a way? In a way. And your feet are back too. Look at them now here in this space. You'd never know that week three I made the mistake of not doing the full routine. I got blisters inside the calluses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then, well, they wore off. I lost it gradually over the summer. My feet were broken. You didn't, I don't know, get some pampering and have a pedicure? No, I wanted to, I don't know, let them work out what they needed. Well, I hope you at least gave them some love. I at least gave them some love. There you go, they are you. Give us a wave. Wiggle those toes right back. And breathe. That's it. Now, look down at your feet. Thank them. We are going to thank them for all the work they have done for us today. Thank you, feet. Thank you, feet. Thank you for all the work you have done are doing and will do. That's it. You've got this. Sit, stretch, do whatever you need. Your body will tell you what it means. Nice, yes. On your back, flat, and pull those knees up. 
Are you okay if I put pressure on your knees to deepen the stretch? Yes. And move it from side to side. So you were okay then? In a way. Did you make it then? In a way. That's the way. It is. Is it? <clears throat> For someone who was so desperate to talk about all your gross blister shit, you're not really talking much about the whole rest of this thing and what it means. I'm processing. People might be interested. You're not people. Pretzel stretch. Back flat, knees bent, feet on the floor. Lift your right knee, move your right ankle on top of your left knee. Lift your left knee, hugging it into yourself. If you lift your head up like this, it is also known as looking at your phone through the hole in your existence. <laughs> <laughs> Other side. Did my yoga help then? Not with the blisters. Help with everything else though. There are ways to thank me. I know, I at least owe you a like or foot emoji. No worries. I'm here, lying next to you. We're all just here together, breathing and doing our thing. So you kept walking. And waving. And did you end up thanking your whole self? Yes. Yes, I did. Redefined then. I mean, I have actual calf muscles you can see now. Still tight. But you can see them. So they are defined. How is the fitness ball? I'm going to stop this now. And just sit. I'll sit with you. What's the first word you think of now, when you think about your body? Strong. And? That feels new. People think this is not about the feet. But it is, isn't it? As much as anything else. Back out of the studio and my brain and into the reality of my room. Just be with yourself. Your feet are with you. That's all for today. For now. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, follow me. It's Yoga with Annie. Thumbs up. Like. Subscribed. Yoga for the Feet was directed by Stephen Bailey and written by Tilly Lunken. It was produced by Alanda Productions and associate produced by Asylum Arts. Director of photography was Sahela Ferrier. The cast was Iona Kirk playing Annie and Kira Poundset as B. Production designer was Abigail Alvarez. Sound recordist was Munib Baig. Editors, Sahela Ferrier and Alexander Stagg. Music and composition was from Nicola T. Chang. With movement directing by Safia Dora Hashim. Access consultants, Quiplash. We give special thanks to Caroline Salem and Space at Clarence Muse. Anna Dobos, The Rogue Playwrights, Jack Parker and Ming Yu Lin. Yoga for the Feet was originally produced as a short play by Alanda Productions for Only Human, a micro-festival at the White Bear Theatre, London.